quick vid um, Gero auxiliary tank uh, fuel sender this is the shape that I've ended up having to come up with um, clear everything and when it's in the tank that's Fuel lights are vertical and it's 20 mil off the bottom. Which means that fuel float will touch the bottom of the tank. Um, and it's uh, empty. The fuel light comes on. She shows the test before I put in the tank, just, uh, connecting it. When it's actually level, it's actually with the. Um, Fuel light, warning light, fuel tank warning light, um, sender. The, uh, when the float's level with that, it's already reading below empty. Um, and that keeps it at the right angle. That when it's full, it's 5 mil off the top of the tank. So it'll read full as well. Quite often they just put the factory sender straight in and they don't work properly because they don't read full or empty or anything like that. But, um, yeah, just a quick vid, give you an idea of how I've modified the shape. It's been bent over this other side here to the bottom of the screen there. Uh, it's been bent over that way so that the float's centred over the um, sender purely because the auxiliary tank has uh, the fuel pump splash guard in the way and the um, float rubs against it. There you go. So that seems to work. Give you a rough idea of the shapes. And um, go from there. Happy motoring.